The following video is for informational purposes only. Proceed with the suggested repairs at your own risk. This video is part of a comprehensive 11 chapter series detailing single venous service. Servicing venous requires special tools. The seasoned BMW techs at Bomb Tools will help you choose the right tools for the models you work with, whether it's a single or double venous on a BMW or any other European car you're repairing. The Bomb Tools guys have it, or know where to get it. German Automotive Special Tools since 1959. That's all we do. Now let's join Angelo Campana for an excerpt from his Single Venos Service Seminar. Remove that oil line. Pitch those two washers, because you're going to replace them anyway. Remove the lift brackets. At the Venos, remove the Venos solenoid electrical connector. Make sure you move all these harnesses and everything out of the way. Move the valve cover vent hose and the Venos oil hose to the right side of the oil filter canister just to facilitate some additional space for access. I like working in a non-confined area. Now, one thing on these solenoid cables. Some of them are like what you see there, which are the late model ones, which you'll press down on the connector and pull them apart. Others on the earlier model have a wraparound rectangular pin or pin spring if you want to call it. You'll have to use a pick to get that off of there but it's a good idea if you have a spare one because I've seen them just boing go off from the motor and you'll you'll spend the better part of the day looking for it. So have some of those. I always kept a handful of those around. Next step you're going to remove those little E-clips down there that hold the vacuum tube in place. Now, this is an M52 model. They don't all have them, but if they do, again, another good idea is to have some spare E-clips because you don't want to spend time searching for those darn things. Uh, might be a good idea, again, to have a few of these E-clips just in case. I always replace them. Now, remember, this is a later model engine as an example, but you get the idea. Now, remove the vacuum pipe and the two bracket mounting nuts. Pull the vacuum pipe from the mounting studs, pull the pipe out far enough and lay it down on the thermostat and lower radiator hose, as pictured there. Make sure on the side of the vacuum hose to provide the slack to pull forward the vacuum pipe. So, now you're going to remove the two Venos exhaust sprocket access bolts or covers, if you want to call them. Then, remove the four exhaust sprocket mounting bolts. As you notice, the two lower ones align with those two access holes. And there is your exhaust sprocket. Uh, take a notice of that little hole at the top of it. We'll get to that shortly. Install the camshaft chain tensioner lock pin. Press down on the tensioner and insert the pin up to the chain. Now, again, be patient and careful. You want to get this pin on the top of the tensioner rail, not on top of the timing chain, because you'll break something. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt and hat. And I don't want to talk about the end results of my experience doing it wrong. So, there is the first thing that you've already accomplished. There's the second thing by rem removing the six mounting nuts at the front lower half of the Venos. Remember, on that M52 motor, the second nut from the left and the first nut from the right, you already removed those so you could get the vacuum line forward. Cover the belt and lower radiator hose to protect them from this deluge of oil that's going to come out of the line, the Venos, and the solenoid. You don't want to make a mess of the belts and the hose because you know that oil don't mix really well with rubber. And that could be a problem later on down the road if you're not careful. Now, you're going to remove the Venos from the engine head. Mount that sprocket turning tool on the exhaust sprocket. What you're going to do, you're going to wiggle this Venos back and forth, but try to keep it in a clockwise direction as you're doing this. Turning that exhaust sprocket clockwise is going to facilitate the chain slop, 
which will allow the intake sprocket clockwise rotation, which in turn allows the Vano's splined shaft to be retracted. Again, watch out for that oil because it's going to go everywhere. Thanks for watching. This video was brought to you by BTU Service Solutions, a division of Bomb Tools Unlimited, Euro Diagnostic Resources, and Euro Auto Training. We are focused on helping you and your auto repair business thrive. We're eager for your feedback, your comments, and your suggestions. Send us an email, comments at eurototraining.com.